Assalamu alaikum, 6 p.m. This is Radio Pakistan, the news read by Farzana Khan. First, the headlines. Pakistan Day is being celebrated today with traditional zeal and fervor. A grand joint services parade was held in Islamabad this morning to mark the Pakistan Day. An investiture ceremony will be held in Islamabad this evening where President will confer awards and medals upon different personalities for their outstanding contributions in different fields. Chief Justice of Pakistan says there is no constitutional provision for judicial martial law in the country. China has urged the United States to pull back from its plans to impose tariffs on Chinese goods and avoid jeopardizing bilateral trade relations. In Syria, 37 people have been killed in airstrikes by government forces in eastern Ghouta. And now the news in detail. The nation is celebrating Pakistan Day today with a renewed commitment to work hard for the progress and prosperity of the country. The day marks adoption of historic Lahore Resolution this day in 1940 that provided a framework for the realization of the goal of a separate homeland for Muslims of South Asia. A spectacular and colorful Pakistan Day military parade was held at Parade Avenue in Islamabad today with forces displaying their professionalism and military prowess. The ceremony kicked off with a fly-past of fighter jets of Pakistan Air Force and Pakistan Navy led by Air Chief Mujahid Anwar Khan presenting salute to the chief guest, President Mamnoon Hussain. Formations of fighter jets including JF-17, F-16, Mirage, F-17, AVAX, C-130 and PC-3 Orion participated in the fly-past. Contingents of Pakistan Army, Navy, Air Force, Special Services Group, Frontier Corps, Rangers, Islamabad Police, Nursing Officers, Boy Scouts and Girl Guides marched past the days presenting salute to the Chief Guest and the Guest of Honor. The United Arab Emirates troops and a Jordanian band also participated in the parade. Mechanized columns including tanks, armored personnel carriers, rocket launchers, air defense system, guns, indigenously built UAVs, short and long range missiles, Raad, Nasr, Babur and Shaheen were showcased on the occasion. Engineering Corps also presented its state-of-the-art equipment. Floats depicting culture of Azad Kashmir, Gilgit Baltistan and the four provinces were also part of the parade. This was followed by the fly past of helicopters of Pakistan Army, PAF and Navy. Amidst cheers and applause by the audience, formations of Sherdils and JF-17 Thunder and F-16 fighter jets presented heartbreaking aerobatic maneuvers, spreading a range of colors in the skies. President Mamnoon Hussain says Pakistan stands for peace in the region and beyond and gives the same message to those who do not want it. Addressing a dignified ceremony of Pakistan Day Parade, he however said, Pakistan's desire for peace in the region should not be misconstrued as its weakness. The president asked India to peacefully resolve the long-standing issue of Kashmir. Referring to India's cross-border violations and gross human rights abuses in occupied Kashmir, he said these subversive Indian tactics have put regional peace at stake. He said Kashmir disputes should be resolved in accordance with the aspirations of Kashmiri people through plebiscite as envisioned in the UN Security Council resolutions. The president said Pakistan's foreign policy is centered around endeavors for permanent peace in the world and based upon non-interference in internal affairs of other countries. Referring to the geostrategic changes taking place, he said today the world's political system is not subservient to single power center, therefore nobody can impose its will and decisions on others. An investiture ceremony will be held at the Airwani Sadr in Islamabad this evening where President Mamnoon Hussain will confer awards and medals on different personalities for their outstanding contributions in different fields. He will decorate 141 recipients of Pakistan civil awards, including 10 foreign nationals and Pakistanis living abroad. Seven awards will be given in the category of Hilale in Deas, 4 Sitara Pakistan, 8 Sitara Jurat, 26 Sitara in Deas, 49 Pride of Performance, 1 each Sitara Qaid Azam and Sitara Hidmat, 22 Tamgai Shujaat, and 21 Tamgai Imtiaz.
Radio Pakistan in its national hookup at 18.30 hours this evening will live broadcast the investiture ceremony from the Airwani Sadr Islamabad. Flag hoisting ceremonies were also held in various embassies and foreign missions of Pakistan across the world to commemorate the Pakistan Day. This is Radio Pakistan giving you the news. Chief Justice of Pakistan, Mia Saqib Nassar, has ruled out the possibility of judicial martial law in the country. Addressing a ceremony in Lahore today, he said there is no constitutional provision for such a move. The Chief Justice asserted that any deviation from the constitution or derailing democracy will not be tolerated. Mia Saqib Nassar expressed the confidence that the upcoming elections would be independent and the next government would be formed in accordance with the constitution. Interior Minister Esther Iqbal says the present government has made the country an emerging economic power. Talking to newsmen in Narawal today, he said we all have to take the country forward through our hard work and by forging unity among our ranks. He said these countries are successful, which are economically strong. Esther Iqbal called for safeguarding political stability and peace in the country at all costs. He said one day Pakistan will become a strong socio-economic power provided the whole nation works very hard. Pakistan Afghanistan Joint Chamber of Commerce and Industry will hold public private dialogue forum on Pakistan Afghanistan economic connectivity in Islamabad on Monday under the theme segregating economic aspirations from political and security imperatives. The dialogue will highlight stakeholders perspectives for reinforcing Pakistan Afghanistan economic connectivity. It also aims to discuss proposals submitted by relevant stakeholders across the border for devising a comprehensive draft of issues and possible solutions for submission to strategic decision makers. China has urged the United States to pull back from its plans to impose tariffs on up to $60 billion on Chinese goods and avoid jeopardizing the bilateral trade relations. The spokesman of the Chinese Ministry of Commerce said in Beijing today that although China does not want to indulge in any trade war with the United States, but it is fully prepared to defend its interests. In Syria, 37 people have been killed in airstrikes carried out by government forces in eastern Ghouta, while a ceasefire is likely to be effective from tonight. Meanwhile, hundreds of Syrians have moved out of the siege town of Douma in eastern Ghouta heading to safety in the nearby capital, Damascus. Syrian state news agency Sana says over 4,000 men, women and children left today. President Donald Trump has named former Ambassador John Bolton as his new national security advisor, replacing Lieutenant General H.R. McMaster. In a tweet message, Trump confirmed that Bolton will assume his office from the 9th of next month. The European Union and Britain have agreed on guidelines that will govern negotiations on future relations and trade links with Britain after Brexit. The agreement was reached at a summit of EU leaders in Brussels. In France, one person was killed and another critically injured when an armed man took hostages in supermarket in town of Trebes today. The attacker was in the supermarket with hostages when the reports last came in. Prime Minister Edouard Philippe said all information suggests that it was a terrorist attack. And now cricket. The final of Pakistan Super League third edition will be played between Peshawar Zalmi and Islamabad United at National Stadium in Karachi on Sunday. And finally, the weather report. Mainly dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 12 hours. However, light rain with thunderstorm is expected at a few places in Malakand, Hazara and Rawalpindi divisions, Upper Fata, Kashmir and its adjoining areas. To end the news, here once again are the headlines. Pakistan Day is being celebrated today with traditional zeal and fervor. A grand joint services parade was held in Islamabad this morning to mark the Pakistan Day. An investiture ceremony will be held in Islamabad this evening where the president will confer awards and medals upon different personalities for their outstanding contributions in different fields. Chief Justice of Pakistan says there is no constitutional provision for judicial martial law in the country. 
China has urged the United States to pull back from its plans to impose tariffs on Chinese goods and avoid jeopardizing bilateral trade relations. In Syria, 37 people have been killed in airstrikes by the government forces in eastern Ghouta. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.